What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Better Movie Podcast. I am your host, Matt Sloan, and this is the movie review show where we don't just give it a score, we take a little tour. All right. <laughs> Joining me today is my 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 friend. White Rabbit, don't worry. My right, it's all cool. You my said. White Rabbit. <laughs> my my imaginary friend. Exactly, because I don't really hero. exist. I'm like Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chase. How you doing, Chase? What's up, bro? <laughs> You know, this is one of my favorite movies, man. I can't wait to get into it. But please, don't judge. Don't judge. <laughs> Just like and subscribe. Don't judge. <laughs> you see the movie, if you're my age, I'm going to talk about it from my age perspective. And Matt's going to talk about it from, 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 from a new, a new recently watched perspective. Exactly, man. Yes. You're watching it. You're watching it from the world of PC. I'm watching it from the world of what the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, got, we got a nice... Uh, We've got nice two different perspectives on this, haven't we? Exactly. So don't judge. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going there. The movie in question, 1982, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Spicoli. Go, go, go. (laughs) Go, Spicoli. So this movie is a high school comedy, would you call it? I call it a comedy. I mean, it's pretty funny. (laughs) (laughs) High school comedy, and it follows the... um, a group of group of teenagers going through a year of high school. Well, yeah, but also too is it was like uh, the age of the mall. Yeah, right. The golden so age of the this mall. was so this was the eighties. So what it was was it was a it was kind of like an original mall rats. Yeah, you know, and also too it was directed by a female director, Amy Heckler. Yes. So well you know, directed. Well directed, and well she directed. got and she got the goods. <laughs> she got the goods. <laughs> She got the good. Yeah. <laughs> she did. Like, well, let's let's talk about who's in this movie. Huh? Oh man, everybody's in this movie. You're even shocked because you don't even know everybody's in this movie. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot there's a lot of names I know from this movie that are like I've heard and not experienced. Like Sean Penn was the big one. Yeah. For me. Sean yeah. Penn was a cards against humanity card. That was yeah. the first time I ever heard of Sean Penn. <laughs> <laughs> well, at this time, I think I think he had uh, did uh, the movie Bad Boys, so that was like kind of like a breakout movie, you know, like yeah. kind of like Scum um, here in, uh, in England, right? Like Bad Boys was like uh, kids in the Ufi, you know, prisons kind of deal. Yeah. But then, like after doing such a hardcore piece, doing this, <laughs> Jeff Spicoli, what? <one. laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> My business. Jeff Spicoli, the yeah. uh, the yeah. slacker, stoner, surfer, shining light in this movie. Exactly, man. But I mean, like, um, if you want to go down the road of the cast, man, like, you know, his his surfer gang, yeah. right? You know, he had like Eric Stoltz and yeah. Anthony Edwards, who both went on like to be um, big stars. Well, not exactly Eric because he got kicked out of Back to the Future. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> but then, like. Um, uh, he also had a best friend, right? You know, like yeah. kind of like w- one of the only black kids in school who happened to be- have a brother who was one of the only black guys in school, but yeah. he was played by Forrest Whitaker. Yes, he was. Uh, which for me, again, going back to the going back to the now times, ballers. What he's he's in ballers, isn't he, with the Rock? Yeah, but he was also but, God, he's also in Godfather of Harlem. He's in Star Wars. Yeah. He's in everything. He's in Black Panther, man. I mean, but this was kind of like really early. Good. This was yeah. early, you know, Forrest and stuff, you know, and um. You know, then you also have, a, and then I was telling you, Nicholas Cage is in Yeah, Nicholas Cage is in this movie. I, I mean, he doesn't even have a line. He just, he's, he's just, just like, in this movie. You know, he's just like, what? You know, uh, Francis Ford Corporal is a uh, nephew. Hey, can you put my nephew in the movie? <laughs> sure. He can't say anything, though. He gets no lines. <laughs> no lines for you. He can work. He can work in the kitchen, and he gets no lines. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We got we got Jennifer Jason Lee in this movie. Oh my God! As um, what's her name? Stacy. Stacy. Yeah. So she's kind of like the final girl, or like the lead girl in this movie. Yeah. What you didn't know was is that she's actually she's actually another actor's daughter. Oh. You know, because she's uh, her father is Vic Morrow. Oh, and right, everything okay. who's like a like a famous actor and everything like that. Um, unfortunately, probably people forgot about him because he was involved in that Twilight Zone the movie incident. Oh, right, where, okay. where the kids got killed by the helicopter, Ooh. but he didn't do it. But I'm just <laughs> <laughs> that's her dad. <laughs> but she's still acting today. It's still on a roller coaster there, Jason. Yeah. Like, Whoa. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Harvey got the notes. Harvey got the notes. <laughs> but you know, but then. What about her brother? What about her brother, Brad? Brad. Brad, the brother. What's, Brad. It, what, what's his name? Judge Reinhold? Judge Reinhold. Now, you would recognize him from Beverly Hills Cop. 
You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, and stuff like that. But he was definitely too old to be a 19 year old brother in this movie. 19 <laughs> year old Brad looking 32. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Hi, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> they're all heads of Star He's driving into school. They're all like, hi, Brad. He was like, yeah. Looks like a teacher, bro. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But they, I like it. He walks into the room and it's like a uh, costume because he had to work in like different fast food uh, restaurants. So he walks in and he goes, Mom said you can't play in the pool. <laughs> That's acting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a star acting right there. <laughs> yeah, because you know, but you had to bring, you had to, you had to uh, um, bring Nat Poulsing up. Well, we're gonna have to have a whole separate section for the pool scene. Yeah, but Phoebe Cates. Phoebe Cates is in this movie. Phoebe Cates, you know, this was her big shining moment. Yeah, and a big crashing moment because. <laughs> She didn't really do much afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Not like everybody else. Everybody else went on to stardom, but Phoebe Case, I think people just locked her on pause. <laughs> <laughs> Never a true word. Like this in my first experience with Phoebe Cates is, was a song called Phoebe Cates by a band called Phoenix TX. Really? Right? Pop, like a pop punk band. I bet you they loved I was her like, though that song. Yeah, right? it's literally the whole song is about that scene. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great song. <laughs> I was like, I was a kid when I listened to it. I was like, who's Phoebe please, Gates? Please, please give the link for that. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we'll have she to, in the video? Did they give clips of her uh, video? I've never actually seen the video. I've only just listened, like, listened to the track when I was a kid. Yeah. Like, it's a great song, though. No, exactly. You know, and then, um, you know, I guess the final two members are like the two uh, geek boys. I mean, I don't know why we came to them last, yeah. you know, being geeks we, ourselves. We got Rat. Uh, <laughs> we, we got Rat. Who's just... Rat. Rat, 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 ratner, and unfortunately, that name became a famous director's name who is like not to be really named. <laughs> 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 he actually looks like Rat, but um, you know, so Rat works in the uh, movie theater. Yeah, Did works you ever in the have theater. One of those jobs? I used to be an usher in the movie. That was my first job was an usher in the movie theater. I never had one of those jobs, but right. I used to go to the cinema a lot oh, well. when I was a kid. Well, obviously, <laughs> it's just that it was just, I mean, like, you know, because as I said before, this was like the mall of the 80s. Yeah. So it's like where the kids hang out and um, it's a good centerpiece. But that was a uh, a keen thing was like, hey, you know, I can't do much of anything else. So yeah. I'll just get a job in the ticket. <laughs> well, no, I, in the movie theater, yeah. I just get a job in the movie. They, they, they go, you want to work here? Cool. <laughs> How many hours do you want to do? <laughs> That's kind of job. <laughs> you want to work here? Cool. <laughs> yeah, hi. Yeah, exactly. you start tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No judgment, bro. It was like I really liked like the um, I like the opening of this movie where it's all the establishing shots of the mall. Cause yeah, I've, I've never experienced the mall. You know what I mean? The closest I think it's been the thing I've experienced to a mall is Liverpool one. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, that's terrible experience. I mean, like, uh, yeah, man, because I mean, like I said, you know, the '80s, man. I mean, like, uh, I was in school in the '80s, and you know, we had the big gallery of mall, and it just seems that the mall was a good gathering place, you know, especially those little food centers. Yeah. You know, like the food courts. Yeah. They have them here and everything like that, and uh, you know, so that's what kids did. But then, if you wanted a job, like I said, you want to work here? Cool. <laughs> you know, like Friday, Saturday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. No judgment. It just see. It just seems like crazy the way like they don't really exist anymore yeah you know yeah 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 they're just more like uh, they're, they're ghost towns in yeah a way, it's just yeah, like a, it's like a bygone thing it's a bygone you know? era bro it's crazy just yeah. like they glow just like they glow colors in this movie yeah. but um <laughs> you know and then the last one is mike damone mike damone who also has another famous father so it seems like amy went around and just went i forgot somebody helped her with this movie uh, i forgot his name some famous guy but yeah just went around and just went to like celebrity houses and say your kid want to be in this movie your kid want to be in this movie because you know we got some things going on and once you get in the movie, you, get in the movie. <laughs> you know what i mean i'm surprised sean penn i mean sean penn has a lot of famous brothers but like you know well they're not, they're not famous they want to be famous <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so um so what? Um uh Rick Damone was um his father was also a famous actor um and everything like that. I keep getting their names mixed up and everything. But yeah, so he did T V. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Anyway, so that's the cast. Yeah, that's the cast. <laughs> I did like um 
I did like what, what, what was his, his name? Mike in the film. Mike the Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moon. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of like swing. This, right? this, this, he, he looked like, he, he he looked like a cartoon, guy. didn't yeah. he? You know, because like when you see them cartoons, like, like the eel or the slick guy, yeah, man, you know, one slick Rick. Yeah. yeah, slick Rick, yeah. yeah. You know, because he was a ticket scalper, yeah. which is which is a true job, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm not going to work in the mall, but I'm going to work outside. Uh, but. I'm going to I'm gonna sell, these, sell these tickets. If that happens to me, I'll be so annoyed. Right. If someone, well, wait a minute. You're an artist, so haven't you ever like bought scalp tickets? No. All right. Never. See, we're learning a lot about Matt. We let we pay on the door, man. We pay, pay on the we door. We pay on the door. We order our tickets, man. You know. Well, some people buy them from someone else, and Fair. that's a ticket scalper. And Fair that's one. That <laughs> Rick the Mole. I did not approve of Mike's job. <laughs> Mike, 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 I did not. I do not approve of this message. <laughs> well, I I really liked his character though. The way he was like, it's just like. That whole trying to be a man thing, isn't it? He's just trying to be, he's just trying to be a, a gangster, isn't he? Trying to be the whole the slick Rick and trying to be cool. And yeah, because he's that guy who like kids look up to because because of what he says. Yeah, and how he says it, they think, oh man, he's really cool. You yeah. know, it's kind of like you know, like uh, you know, if he was an American in England, yeah. you know, like he was holding court. And then when when he got land based it later on yeah. and nobody was listening to him, he's like, "What's going on, man? I'm I'm just being a target here. Yeah. You're killing me. You're killing me. You, I, what did I actually do? And what did I actually do? You actually did nothing, but it mean it, it mattered. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we, we're swimming around the pool. <laughs> he did nothing. Coming back to this pool. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so, <laughs> I mean, so who was the lead in this movie? Do you think? I, I, I don't know. I think it, it's got to be between Brad and and, and Jeff Spicoli, man. Um, just because I feel like they are like the most to have the most development, if you will, apart apart from obviously Stacy. But yeah. the way they meet towards the end, and where where the guy comes and tries to rob the store. Yeah, and like he's like, why don't you get a job? And he's like, they just he t- finally so, gets a job as a yeah. manager because he so he so he had so much pent up, pent up, pent up rage, pent up rage, <laughs> that pent up teenage rage. <laughs> yeah, he had so much pent up teenage rage that he's able to like, you know, <laughs> I forgot about that scene. <laughs> he's like, he's like, why don't you get a job, Jeff? And he's just like, uh, all I need is some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. Jesus Christ, man. You know, but um, so yeah, I mean, so I mean, so Brad does, you know, he never really changes though, I think. Yeah. You know, because usually the 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 key to a uh, lead character is like change. And so with Mike, he's kind of like an antagonist if you have to have an antagonist yeah. just because he didn't do the right thing. Yeah. So I mean, I guess it would be Jennifer's story. Yeah. You know, it, it would be her story, you know, and and stuff and uh um how she overcome this you know, this moment in time. Yeah, it's a. I mean, it's a crazy, it's a crazy thing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're yeah. talking about some of our super funny films, smack bang in the middle of it. They just decide to tackle abortion. You know, <laughs> you know? That's like, and then that's like, yeah, well, you know, I mean, you know, we have to like look at this. I mean, <laughs> we're we're having the sex, and we think. I mean, we're not saying sex is bad, but you know, hey, things happen. Be safe. Yeah, be safe. Be safe. I mean, you know, because because that first guy that she had sex with on a football field, whatever, you know, oh, like yeah. that's that that Jack, was uncomfortable, man. It was that was uncomfortable, uncomfortable because seeing because he's like thirty or something. Exactly. And she's like, and he was a thirty playing thirty. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, but, and she's nineteen. Yeah, and uh, I, but no, if. I mean, so she didn't suppose she suppose she didn't get uh, pregnant by that scene. Yeah, and everything that. But then, how do you know? How do you know? Exactly. It wasn't that far between yeah. and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Mike could have gotten a bad rap. Yeah. So let's look at this film from a female perspective in a way where it's like, so it's a female director and it's a female lead and everything. And what were they really like saying? Because yeah. Phoebe Cates' character, before we get to the whole splash now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the splash down. <laughs> You're a little late. But <laughs> To that let's before we get to Just that let's kind of like say let's let's deal with the carrot and the stick right yeah <laughs> the popsicle scene i mean she's kind of like lying her whole life away but being educational at the yeah, same she, time yeah yeah because if it was a guy it would be like yeah i have a i have a girlfriend she's in canada yeah so she like... has this boyfriend that is 
rants yeah. or whatever and stuff like that. But she's so world knowledgeable yeah. about sex. So she's trying to encourage this young girl that you got to do things that guys expect things. Yeah. And everything. So it's kind of like, where is the female empowerment in here? You yeah, know what I mean? Very because, true. Very true. Because, like, in that aspect is, is that, you know, she's convinced to lose her virginity by her best yeah. friend. Publicly, even, it's like that, that, that popsicle scene. Yeah. That is. If you want to talk about uncomfortable, that's uncomfortable. Yeah. Because, 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 because it's not just that she's doing it, right? But then, the, then they cut to the other people watching yeah. her doing it. It's kind of like that scene when Harry met Sally. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know, it's like the orgasm yeah, scene yeah. and that, and then, then you got everybody reacted to yeah. it. It's kind of like they think, okay, so this is comedy. Let's do something extremely embarrassing yeah. <laughs> and cringeworthy. Yeah. <laughs> and then it will just cause us just to nervously laugh. <laughs> yeah. It was like when they all start clapping at the end, though, when they all yeah, watch it. Exactly. I was like, do you know what? Kind of, that's just, it was very it, awkward. It's a super awkward moment, but very. it's like, there's moments in this movie where it's just like, that's just that. Somewhat, someone like that happens to someone that you know what I mean. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's too, it's too uncomfortable yeah, to like yeah, not yeah, be yeah. real almost. You know what I mean? No, exactly. But then like, um, so speaking about uncomfortability, let's look at the teachers. The teachers, Mister Hand, <laughs> Mister Hand, he does not give Jeff a hard time, doesn't play, he? Play, play, buddy. The the immense. The um, artistic uh, uh, Ray Walston. Ray Walston. He's been working since be- well, since my ca- parents were kids. <laughs> <laughs> since before movies were getting made. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's Mr. Hand, you know, and it's um, um, moments, the peace of moment. Yeah. I, don't, I, I can't tell you how many people probably tried to do that. Oh, yeah. Order a pizza in class. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine it would have been epic. Does anyone get away with it? Yeah, please, in, you know, uh, in the comments below, please. Yeah, I did that yeah. once. You know, uh, 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 you know. <laughs> I got away with pizza in class. I mean, oh, I can imagine trying to do that at school, man. That would be. Oh, that. Is, oh, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? But then, like. <laughs> to be fair to him, no. It's my time. You know what I mean? Oh, my time. Well, I was thinking about it's, that, Mr. Hand. It's all time. our time. <laughs> he's not wrong, though. He's not, not wrong. He's not wrong. He? <laughs> like, he's, he, the, fit, like, the thing for me. About Jeff, I kind of relate to Jeff a little bit. Yeah, being a bit, um, being a bit of an idiot. <laughs> That's a good um, word. Yeah, um, like he comes out with some great, great, great one-liners. It's like, isn't yeah. this our time? And it's like, well, yeah, yeah, it kind of is our time. And he's not exactly being disruptive. Right? No. I mean, when he turns up late, yeah, okay, <laughs> that's disruptive. But <laughs> when, he, when, he's at, when he's at the class, yeah, okay, he orders a pizza, but. He's learning. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, take, take it to the end. I mean, Mr. Hang comes and like, gay crashes his prom night and goes, listen, you're not going to prom because you're going to learn about history. Oh, That's man. a teacher with some dedication, man. I definitely you know, got paid you know, overtime for that. I had a teacher come to my house once. Really? Yeah, man. It was awkward. But like, did, they... <laughs> did he teach you history? Oh, come on, man. It's not like that. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Some teachers really care about their students, yeah, man. Do well, they do well. <laughs> Ooh, <no. So> <laughs> <laughs> but no, they had some really, again, again, yeah. a lot of great cameos in the teachers, though, wasn't True. it? And everything, you know, like the science teacher and everything yeah, like that. Yeah. You know, who's like, got to switch to Sanka. <laughs> He's like, are you in my class? He's like, I am today. <laughs> I am today. <laughs> sneaking out on school trips well that's that's the thing that like for like i don't know my generation it's like you didn't want to go on the school trips because they were rubbish you know yeah and it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you were you were trying to get out your own classes to go to those other school trips well that's that's kind of that's kind of like i would i want to i would have wanted to go on that peter parker school trip you know oh, yeah. and get bitten by a spider yeah that would have <laughs> been <laughs> sick <laughs> yeah, best, we need to do we need to do top 10 best school trips in movies <laughs> <laughs> That would be good if I could think about it. But like, <laughs> <laughs> you <know>. So, <laughs> um, there is, I mean, I mean, the music, the the music. We got Tom Petty in this in in the in in the, in this movie. Well, he's not in the movie, but <laughs> no, <he's laughs> in the, movie. The, in the, movie, the song "American Girl" is in the movie, yeah. and I. It's it's just a it's just one of the perfect songs for this movie, really. Yeah. And it? it's just when they're establishing all the school shots and them going back to school after being working at the mall all summer, and it's yeah. just American Girl. Yeah. 
or Jackson Brown, somebody's baby. Oh yeah, somebody. You baby. know what I mean? You know, because it's kind of like as she's going out on a date and everything. That's like, like Stacy's theme, used to really. Be somebody, yeah. What? That's like Stacy's theme, really. Yeah, exactly. It? Because I mean, you know, I mean, obviously she's an old, she, she's an older woman playing a younger woman and everything like that. Yeah. But it was supposed to be like your kids growing up too fast. Yeah. Do you know what I mean and everything, and it's like you know she's somebody's baby, she's somebody's yeah. I little re- girl. I, I really did get that. Is it, it was like you know the way she's just so forward with mm-hmm. the guy, and the guys are a bit like out the depth, yeah, and they're yeah, a bit yeah. like, whoa, what's going on here? And she's just like, let's get down to it. Yeah, I did. Well, like, that was that, that was after she experienced it. Yeah. So the, I mean, after she experienced it in that really like horrible, like you know, like a uh, football field and yeah, no no lights and all that. Not kind a of great, stuff. not a great way. <laughs> you know, but then you know, but then she wanted to experience it again with our man Mike Damone, yeah, because he was so cool. Yeah. You know, so he was so cool. Her, her, so. her hero. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Apparently, yeah. apparently, you can be a hero by like bouncing a locker open. <laughs> apparently, that's all it takes. Back in eighty two. But man, I, who knows? What girl, who locker. knows what girls think and how they think about things? But it's like, yeah, the smallest little things makes them like more attractive than our man rats. <laughs> True that. You know, who Rat gets a hard said, time. Yo, I like this girl. You know, I like this girl. I like this girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's really nice. <nuts. laughs> and he's like, yeah, okay, right? Yeah, yeah. And everything. And then, um, you know, uh, because, well, let's go to the splashdown because isn't that when, when she's with, she's with Mike? Yeah. So, 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 so let's, let's get to the splashdown moment. Okay. So, so that's the big one. That's why we're let's, all let's here. Let's set, let's set it off in there. So the two, yeah. two lads are coming, trying to like, sneak into the pool. Come and meet the two ladies. Well, they didn't know there'd be two ladies yeah. there, but then it's like, oh, there's two ladies here. You know what I mean? Good thing you brought his shorts, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I hate Hello. people do that. They don't need any dude buy a swimsuit. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You know? But then it was it was it was really like I, I really loved how like, you know, people was like, Oh no, please. No, yeah. not not boys. Who not boys. <laughs> and then and then Brad comes home. Yeah. <laughs> why why is everybody in the pool? Why is everybody in the pool? Keep it down, I got work to do. <laughs> you just came from a freaking <laughs> fish fish restaurant. So it's <laughs> so sad. He's the broken broken kid one. I got oh, work to do. Down on the definition of down on your look. Yeah. Is Brad exactly. exactly. So then so like uh so what so how does how does Stacey uh get uh Mike alone then? Oh that's they, no, he, that's afterwards, isn't it? Because they have the pool scene where, with uh, with Phoebe Cates and she jumps in and Brad's all in the bathroom yeah, getting yeah, yeah. getting dreamy, for lack of a better dreamy. term. <laughs> yeah. get, getting his dream on. Yeah, getting his splash on. Getting his splash on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so, it's a dip, so it's a different scene after the scene. Yeah, so because right. they, um, they come together in school and she's like, I like you. And then he's all like, oh. yeah. walks her home. Yeah, okay. Yeah, My parents right. are out. We're house sitting for the weekend. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, well, there, so yeah. You got any iced tea? <laughs> <laughs> we'll start house sitting and packing liters of iced tea. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course we got iced tea. Um. So anyway, so um, so Brad goes in to like you know think about the fact that that hey. She's kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> My girl just broke up with me. Yeah. And then, as you know, Phoebe's like, I'm going to go and do a dive in the pool. And then, you know, she dives into the pool. Yeah. Flash down. <laughs> and then they actually did something that I've never seen before. Because, like I said, I was young. And so, and he's like, what the hell is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all know what he was doing. <laughs> hey, man, I told you I was young when I watched this movie. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So then, so then, like you know, she 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 comes out of the pool yeah, like Venus, like, yeah, out of the clamshell. Yeah, it's like epic, isn't it? Epic. It's it's all it's all like like she becomes like a, a woman in that scene, yeah. Oh, she like, becomes a woman. She's supposed to already oh, be one. Yeah, but she's not. Is she she's lying <laughs> yeah, about it. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Oh, why you actually think she lying? Lying? Yeah. Oh, that would be deep if she was. Yeah, lying. She, that her That's whole like in the comments down below. Was her, she lying? Her about? whole boyfriend ain't real. That ain't real. I'm calling it right it. now. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. That is not real. That's a typical girl thing to uh, do. Man, you know, I you know, I think that's a competition and stuff. You know, what what do you know? What people wouldn't think? Anyway, nobody who, knows. Who agrees? Who disagrees? Let yeah, us that's know. Right. That's right. Cool. Yeah. So anyway, so she comes out and everything and everything and then you know, boom, boom, boom. She does the big reveal and stuff like that. And um, teenage you know, boobs. 
okay, bro. They weren't teenage. She's a woman. So anyway, she goes to, oh, 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 I got water in my ear. Da, da, yeah. da, 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 oh, da, no. Da, da. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> then she runs to the bathroom. Oh, no. I got water in my ear. That was so... That's why she never acted again. But... <laughs> Where those earplugs? <laughs> and, so, and then so she opens the door. The man's like, "Oh, <laughs> just the nobody knock, face, dude." The look on her face of utter disgust, you know, which is why I'm I'm believing you a little bit because look, he's grown, he's a grown lad, man, yeah. whatever, and like. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, she never seen it before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like, oh, the man. way she talks about it. Yeah, the way she talks about it. And it's so like, oh yeah, and it's like she should have they... just been like, oh well, good on you, Rad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 the 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 really like awkward thing about it is it's about her as well. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like it's it's just like oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I just saw. Oh, scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever have moments like that? Um. No, okay. I've had I've had a few close yeah, calls. Don't watch. get me wrong. <laughs> I've had a couple of close calls. I've been in some situations like, but yeah, I've yeah. never um, I've never been getting me splash on, and the and the girls walked in like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Let me think. Nope. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, um, that's true. So I mean, I mean, what better point than to take uh, <laughs> to take this episode and. Smash it together and flip it on its head. <laughs> this movie doesn't even flip it on its head. <laughs> well, it's well, great. <laughs> well, so what we what we so what we're talking about is character change, right? Yeah. Now we already said it so many times. Brad is way too old. Brad to, is way too old. Brad, Judge Reinhold was just way too old to be Brad. Yeah. And everything like that. I mean, I love the scene where he takes her to get the abortion. Yeah, that was really that was really brother, good, man. You know, but anybody could have really like had done yeah. that. You know what I mean? You know, so like, I, who do, I, who I felt think, like who do you think they should have cast? And with all the cast that they had, like look at like they had Anthony they, Edwards. Yeah, it's just, they, a, had, they had they had they had um. There's, Cage. there's so many people you could you could have really, isn't there? I don't know. I who, would go who for Anthony like, Edwards. Anthony Edwards, yeah. yeah. Because he didn't do Revenge of the Nerds yet. Yeah. Yeah. He, and so obviously he's not done the iron and lost his hair. But <laughs> <laughs> but he was in this movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he was I think he was more age appropriate. You know, and I think he could have and being a great actor that he became, I think yeah. he really could have uh been a better brat. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of like actors from the early eighties you could do that sort of like a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> like um, like you can do that kind of like high school yeah like dude main main high school dude kind yeah of thing. yeah yeah and not trying to take over the film because yeah that's, i mean because usually like there's always like um that thing where like uh where you're dealing with a male or female and they got a big brother yeah and stuff like that and, and he's like, always wanting to like beat up the love interest or like well, be no, overprotective yeah, but, you know like um you know did you ever see sing street no. Oh well, that's a British film. It's good. So anyway, there was a good older brother sequence in there. But what I'm just trying to say is, I have an older brother. Did yeah. you say you had an older brother? I do have an older brother. Well, there you go, man. So catch your older brother. But what I'm trying to say, and <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, is that like, um, you know, we don't really get to see older brothers played well, especially yes. at this time. I agree. And and, yeah. and and Brad's character did do that when yeah. he when he took her to the thing. And stuff, and he didn't really question her and everything like that. Yeah. And he, he didn't judge her and everything, you know. So he, he was good in that yeah. that one sequence. I, he just was way too old. Yeah, he, he was just really old, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, he just way too old. I feel like I, I really want to talk about it because I feel like we should talk about it. They handled the abortion things like I feel like they handled it like super super well. Yeah, it's such a it's such a difficult subject. And yeah, it's such a polarizing subject that. Is either done really well or really badly, and I feel like they really hit it on the head. It's a, a very well, they did, they, did, they, they, they did the proper thing because a lot of times when they try to uh puritanically judge abortions, right? Because you can't judge it, that's why yeah. it's a woman's right, right? But like, so they always go to the negative, like, yeah. it's a backyard abortion, yeah. you know, there's somebody with a scalp, yeah. and, chick, 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 and it so, hurts and it's yeah, painful, it's all bad. But they did a planned parenthood yeah. scenario, you know, it costs a certain amount of money. Yeah. You know, Seventy five dollars in a rod. Even, even, yeah, even Mike trying to get the money and everything, and um, yeah. you know, but then she, you know, she obviously had money 
Yeah. So she was able to, she was able to pay for it. And, and that's when Brad sees her coming out of the place and everything. And yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? Where did you start who, going bowling? <laughs> who is it? <laughs> Who's the guy? <laughs> who should I beat up? <laughs> well, but, yeah. The other, yeah, the nice. other thing we need to do is, um, we because because the cast is great. We need to recast a, a, a song. There's a song that's missing from this movie that so just needs to be in this movie. movie. You're 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 in my wheelhouse. <laughs> you're in my wheelhouse. You know, I want to see girl, it, but you want, oh, Jesse's girl, <laughs> Springfield, <laughs> man. Springfield, man. Jesse is a friend. You know, you're a good <laughs> friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> It's just perfect for them. For, them, perfect for the rat. For, and, for and rat. Like, like, yeah, exactly. You know, it should, it should have happened. Man. Oh man, your boy did you wrong. Bro. <laughs> did you wrong. And that was that was a, that wasn't bad. They 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 did do like a vengeance montage on him. Yeah, and everything like that. That you know, so he did he did get his comeuppance. True. Very true. Stuff. So so the movie was complete, man. It was yeah. full of stuff. It was, it was it was great. Yeah, it was a great movie. Go watch this movie. If you haven't seen this movie, go watch this movie. So anyway, before we go, sequel time. It never had a sequel. It didn't. Right? Not like it needed because it came out at the time when sequels weren't really that yeah. much of a thing. I'm kind of, there's a part of me that's really glad it didn't get a sequel. It doesn't need one, really but I mean like, you know, yeah. I, let's pretend we're Hollywood. So okay. And like this movie made money. With so, the evil you know, Hollywood the people. With big, big, big stogie cigars. They said, what else can we do with fast this time, Fast times at Ridgemont Community College. Damn it, that's good. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go, man. I'll take my 10% so when you what, make that movie. Spicoli, now that he graduates. So Sp- Spicoli graduates, is right, Spicoli. Made up for him. Um, Spicoli graduates, you? he's going to go and study history at Community College, isn't he? Because it's the only <laughs> thing he's learned. He's going to major in He's going to major in American history and surfing. <laughs> hey, yo, he could talk about the African seafarers. In it? Black studies, bro. It's important. It's but like, important. <laughs> <laughs> but so, no, man, no, I can, yeah, I can see that, man, Mr. Spicoli. I'd, I'd watch that in, in, in Teaching history. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, what are those? What do they call them? There's a uh, uh, teacher trainer, uh, teacher assistant, teacher yeah. assistant. Mr. Mr. Han. Mr. Hand comes back and he's all like, oh, I'll be good. <laughs> Jeff has to, to get Mr. Hand. <laughs> he's trying to get Mr. Hand on dope because <laughs> he thinks everyone's on dope. <laughs> oh my god! Come on, Mr. Hand, hand. Yeah. just once, <laughs> just. <laughs> One puff. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> That'd be great. Well, I would watch oh, that movie. My, oh my god! See, know what it is? That's it turns into a odd couple, Mr. Hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a yeah. yeah. Hand and Spicoli. <laughs> Hand and Spicoli. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> we need to make this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, man, call us. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like, subscribe, phone, profit. <laughs> Oh man! Oh well, no. Well, that was fast times, man. That was really good. I like that <laughs> journey. Did I mean? I mean, did you, see, did you see the difference though? I mean, because it's kind of like, I mean, I really feel for you, like just watching it now when we're in this world of PC, yeah, and everything is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> the, well, the, the closest thing I've ever had to fast times as a kid was Skins. The oh TV yeah, show. that's right. That's right. That's right. Which was just like first season only. No, no, first two. F- first. First four seasons, the last two can go. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Because cool. you, you stuck it out. Oh, I really <laughs> liked that show, man. I thought it was really good. Yeah, no, um, it was good, yeah. Yeah, that was like, that was the biggest parallel I could draw to it. We just the the whole sex, drugs, rock and roll thing and the yeah. whole like exploring, yeah, like being yeah. a teenager and coming of age and things. Yeah, definitely. In the way it's done. No, no. Yeah, the exactly. way it's like super funny, but like also trying to be a little bit real. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because like you were saying, how like you feel like in, that the uh, the malls are like of no longer now, but yeah. we do have the food cart. Food sure. cart still exists in Liverpool one. It does. <laughs> it does. And I've and I've actually been there like uh, after school one time, you know, trying to get a burger. Yeah. And I'm seeing all the kids in there, like you know, school uniforms, and like it's like, all right, man, all right, I'm not sticking around. I'm, <laughs> I'm taking this and going. I'm <laughs> having <laughs> school for this. <laughs> <laughs> my fast times are long behind me <laughs> <laughs> we're moving into slow times <laughs> slow times <laughs> slow, slow times L1 <laughs> we're good on titles <laughs> on, on that note <laughs> yo yo are we, are we going back in the rabbit hat <laughs> 
or the rabbit hole, whatever way you Back want to Back in the rabbit it. hole. I'd rather say rabbit hat because yeah. rabbit hole sounds dirty. We can always pull you out the hut then. <laughs> I said it sounded dirty and you made it dirtier. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. This is the Battle of Movie Podcast. The Battle of Movie Podcast. Take it easy. <laughs> Uh, all I need are some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. <laughs>